हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज ऑफ द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द प्रैक्टिकल नंबर फाइव पार्ट सी दैट इज योर इंप्लीमेंटिंग अ वेब सर्विस दैट कनेक्ट्स विद द माई एस क्वेल डेटाबेस तो डू रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज़ ऑल्सो पॉसिबल वी कैन कनेक्ट आर वेब सर्विस विद द डेटा बेस इट इन दिस प्रैक्टिकल वी विल सी हाउ टू कनेक्ट दिस वेब सर्विस विद द माई एस क्वेल डेटा बेस और वी कैन कनेक्ट द वेब सर्विस विद द डिफरेंट डेटा बेसिस लाइक एस क्यूएल सर्वर और एकल एंड सो ऑल सो इन दिस प्रैक्टिकल दिस पार्ट ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल वी विल फर्स्ट डू द स्टेप्स इन द माई एस क्वेल डेटा बेस माई एस क्वेल डेटा बेस इट इज़ यूज टू क्रिएट अ डेटा बेस एंड टू स्टोर द data in the form of tables so we first create a database so the query to create a database is your create database bookshop this is my name of the database then we use this database bookshop right? after this uh, we will create a table uh, in the bookshop right? and this we will insert this records in the uh, bookshop database so we have to first uh, do remember students we have to first create a database then we create a table and then we insert a records so this is the basic steps in the uh, data base uh, database part of the uh, this practical okay now uh, we start with the mysql database right and we will create a database in this the password for my sql is your uh, root okay now uh, first we create a database as we can see here this is this is the steps to create a database the query now this is my uh, the database is created now we use this database book shop database change now uh, we see the tables in this so, right show table there is a no table empty set why because we just uh, created a database right now we create a table in the database to create a table right this is a query now we just write this query create table the name of the table is your book we have a, a table with the column isbn number where care primary key that means isbn number uh, is not uh, uh, not duplicated book name where care 100 and book price these are the three columns of the book table now we check show table see there is a table books now next step we insert the records in the books table we first in insert this record as we can see here insert into books and the values one row affected now we check the data star from books table as we can see here there is a three columns isbn book name and price and this is my isbn number book name is learn my sql and the price is 250 in the same way we insert this records at least record four uh, at least uh, insert four to five records right so that we can uh, see the output see so now this is my table isb with isbn numbers and the book name and the book price so in this way we create a database table and we insert the records now we create a java application here okay to create a web, web service first create a java application to so just click on file new project java web web application next so now this is my book application then next glassfish server we have to select this glassfish server next and then finish so now this is the step to create a uh, java web application in netbeans Okay, now uh, we, within this web application, we will create a web uh, Java web service. So just right-click on this web application, new web service. 
Now this is my web service. So this is my get get and book ws. That is your web service. Then package name com dot example dot. Now just copy this name and paste. So this is my package name. Okay. Now click on finish. So in this way we create a web service. This see now it is creating a web service. Now this is my web service code. By default uh, there is a hello method. Right? We have to uh, delete this. Then go to the design here. Now add operation. Now get book details. This is my name of the methods and it is it will return the data string and there is a one parameter isbn number user will enter the isbn number and then on the basis of that we will get the book data and the data type is string in ok as we can see here it will create a web service method get uh, book details so now, this is my web service now uh, go to the source code as we can see here this is my source code now uh, we will write a code uh, that will connect with the mysql database and we retrieve all the details of the book uh, whose isbn number is matched with the database uh, column so start with the uh, database connection code now the first step is you to import the java.sql.star package because uh, it contains all the uh, classes and interfaces that uh, that is used for the JDBC. Okay, now uh, just remove this. Start with the try and catch. If there is a, any uh, exception during the establishment of the uh, connection with the database, so so we will print this exception as an error plus e. Now we first load the driver class dot for name this line is basically used to load the driver right? name of uh, uh, the name of the mysql driver is your com dot mysql dot jdbc dot d capital driver so this is my uh, name of the driver okay now we create a connection object connection con equals to now with the help of driver manager dot get connection now in this we have a three parameters right the first is your url string url the the path uh, to the database that is your jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost and slash the name of the database so now the name of our database is your uh, as we can see here we already created a bookshop bookshop database so we will pass this book shop database here so now this is my first parameter of get connection url the username of the database that is your by default root and the password you have to so my password is root so this is the step to create a connection object now we create a statement object here statement st equals to con dot create a statement to execute any sql query we require this statement object now uh, we create a variable query select star from the table name books where now uh, we will retrieve only those book whose isbn number is matched with the entered number by the user so we will uh, use this isbn to filter the records so isbn where isbn equals to single quotes uh, plus uh, we will write this isbn variable here that is a variable in the parameter isbn so now uh, where isbn is match when this isbn is match with the isbn entered by the user it will retrieve all the star means all the records of that that isbn number okay now 
after uh, writing this query we will give this query to the result set object result set rs equals to ht dot execute query and just pass this query to this method so all the records that uh, that uh, match with the isbn number isbn see isbn so all the records will be stored in rs okay now we start with the while loop rs dot next if there is any record in rs while 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 loop will, will return a true and now we will display this records we will write a string uh, data within this we retrieve all the information first we retrieve book name then plus rs of uh, zero that is my first first record in the result set rs dot get string and we pass the column number zero then plus book price then press rs dot get uh, we just see the data type of the book price uh, there is a book price where can right so we will again use the get string method and the column number is one so to all the information is uh, retrieved in data and after this we will return while loop after while loop right we will return data we create this data outside of the while loop why because it is not accessible from uh, from outside so we just create a data first variable and then return let's see as you can see here this is where so in this way right we can create a web service uh that is that is connect with the database so this is a, a code right uh, which uh, retrieve the data from the mysql database now uh, we add this uh, driver in the current web application so go to the project uh, this is my book and in the library part just right click on library add library now we search the mysql database in the library as we can see here this is by mysql jdbc driver add this driver in the project so when we add this driver right it will allow the access with the mysql database this save all the details right okay now we first uh, deploy this application book application right click on this uh, first uh, deploy so as we can see here right? when uh, it is deploying the uh, web application it will start the glassfish server as we can see here right? starting the glassfish server and it will deploy the uh, web application on this server just wait for some time so uh, we now we execute this uh, web service but do remember there is uh, some changes right uh, when we are uh, writing this query at the time of writing a query where isbn equals to we have to use this special syntax to retrieve the value from the uh, parameter so single quotes double quotes plus and then plus double quotes single quotes so this is a syntax to write any variable in the uh, query and this is the double quotes uh, closing part of this double quotes so this is my first uh, change and when we retrieve the records in the while loop at the time of that we will write a column name instead of column number right before uh, i i wrote a 0 and 1 in this column right so do not write the column index you have to just write a column name book name and the book price so so it will retrieve the book name and book price. 
so again we deploy this web service right click and deploy and then again we test this web service now we write a ISBN number that is your 111222 and 333 as we can see here it is retrieving a book name as a learn mysql and the book price is 250 now i am changing this uh, last three digits to 444 four, four. just click it this is my second book as you can see here 44 four, java e and the price is 850 so in this way uh, we can connect the web service uh, with the mysql database so i i will share this code in the description the link for this code uh, is given in the description box i hope you uh, understood this session thank you so much